little disc that I made last in the video. And they're really good throwing stars. Welcome to Goat Ranch. I have a hockey puck here. And because of how my brain works, I was thinking, will it stop a pellet? If so, how big of a dent will it put in it? Let's find out. Start it off right with Thumper. I predict it's going to do absolutely nothing to it. One more for good measure. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it made two of the smallest dents. But they are dense, so what will it do when I step it up? Only one way to find out. Brown gun. Lead pellet backwards. Act as a hollow point. See what it does. Looks like it hit pretty hard, but I don't have high hopes. Oh yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I'll try and get it in the glare, but there's a little bit of a dent. Little bit of a dent. It's not much. Let's step it up to a regular pellet. Forward facing pellet now. It's gonna make it a little bit bigger of a dent, but not much. It was something. It bounced straight back at me. Didn't hurt though. Just as I thought. A little bit bigger of a dent. But not much. Step it up to a BB. This shot had to be muzzle loaded. I took a lead pellet, loaded it backwards, and put a BB in the end. So that should act as like a... Um, an extra shock round. Let's see if it actually adds shock to it. BB fell out. Get new BB. Got new BB. Boy, boy. Yeah, much bigger dent. Much bigger dent, but not much. Step it up again. Regular lead pellet, 10 pumps. I predict a bigger dent than the other pellet gun, but not much. Only one way to find out, though. Looks like it hit pretty hard. Decent dent right there, but not really much more. I'll try hollow point next. Ten pumps. The extra shock pellet. See what it'll do. Looks like it hit pretty hard. Let's go see. Not much more than normal. Let's hit it with the straight up BB. Straight up BB. Then pump. Point blank shot. Bigger dent, not much. Right there, that's it. Well, 
Let me give you my final thoughts. My final thoughts on this hockey puck are if somebody breaks into your house waving like an air gun around as long as it's 17 caliber you should be safe. Maybe even 22 caliber. I would probably say that it would stop a 22 caliber pellet. Now bear in mind this probably won't stop a 9 millimeter but there's only one way to find out and I might be able to shoot it with a 9 millimeter for you guys today but I doubt it. I'll see if I can do it later in a later video. But I wouldn't really recommend using this as protection but unless you're really good at matrix style like going like this like the flash well, if you were fast enough to do that to stop the bullets you would be fast enough to catch the bullets anyway so yeah this would stop pellets but it probably wouldn't feel very good but if you were wearing this thing it would send the pellet right back at the shooter because I got hit with a few of those pellets too so I think your best bet if you're having this is just like keep it in your pocket or something like that and just let the guy shoot it the pellet will bounce off you and hit him in the face probably or hopefully, you hope. Well, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now time for the outro. Also, I hope you don't mind, but this video is going to be more... Well, not more, but... It's going to be a little bit like a vlog, too. But... If you like it as a vlog, just let me know. If not, let me know also. I've got tons of requests from people to do it like a vlog, so I guess I'll just do it. So what I've been working on for the past few days, which is why I haven't been able to film very much, is I have been fixing up that table. You probably can see it, but I've been fixing it up. It used to be a wreck, a collapsed wreck. In our house so I decided to fix it up for my mom that way we can have the red picnic table again so I've been doing little projects like that over the last period and this guy Ziga I want to rename him Loki he keeps on getting into trouble keeps on getting into stuff he is not supposed to. I'm going to feed. I will let you guys watch that process. I'll just have to set you guys down. If I'm going to do this sort of thing, I'm really going to need a bigger SD card to do the time lapse for you. But, we'll see if this will do. If you saw me hitting this knucklehead on the head sometimes, I'm not hurting him at all. Don't worry about it. He'll learn eventually to stay out of it. Keep eating.